I am going to show you the Abeka Kindergarten, both language arts and math curriculum. So when you order the Abeka, um, any grade level, they're gonna send you boxes of all of the material that you need. So um, this is a great curriculum for maybe your new homeschooler or even your veteran homeschooler, but someone that wants the lesson plans created for them and basically wants to be kind of told what to do step by step, which is awesome. So this is what your teacher guide looks like. And it literally tells you every day what to get out, what to do, and um, and how to, to, to do all of these things every day, okay? So this is your teacher guide for the phonics, reading, writing, and numbers for kindergarten. I wanted to show you some of the stuff that comes in the curriculum. So they, all of these books are for Bible. And so you work through each book as the guide tells you. It comes with small readers as your children are uh, growing and they're reading. This is what they can work, for, work through. The workbooks that they are doing in kindergarten, I'm going to show you these. So this is the math. So this is what you would call like a consumable workbook. They would be doing this every day. And again, this is kindergarten. And what I like about this is I don't feel like it starts them too advanced. Um, my six-year-old knows her numbers and her letters, but I thought this was nice because it still kind of started at the basics with just number recognition and letter recognition. So I like that it does get into basic addition and basic time telling. It gets into that about halfway. So then here comes the basic addition. So I did like that. Okay, and so then the same thing here with the letter sounds for kindergarten. So here would be the workbook. And again, I thought it was great because it just starts them out with letter recognition and letter sounds. You know, they're circling. What sound does this make? They're identifying upper and lower case. And then as it moves on, it gets into blending the words and then finally reading. This is not assuming that the kindergartner can read yet. And so I, I just, I really liked that a lot. Uh, one thing that I noticed about Abeka is that they give you a ton of uh, tangible flashcards to you. So this is just some of them. And they give you a whole set of sight words. Then they also give you a whole set of blends, um, several different sets of those. So that was nice. Rebecca also sends you uh, posters, uh, several different types of posters. So you could really kind of set up your homeschool room if you had a dedicated room with all of the posters they provide. Um, over here, all of these are like character development and community helpers. And then they send you math flashcards, and then four different handwriting books, both in cursive and in manuscript. So that was a big focus with Rebecca. One thing my six-year-old uh, played with a lot and loved were all of these games. So they send these, and then they send all the different pieces to the game, like where you make his eyes and his nose. And the way I use those was I would ask her um, to make a letter sound, and if she got it right, I would give her a piece of the clown eye, or the, or the clown face, and she would make it. So these were really, um, I thought, different. I've not, I have not seen something like this before, but to incorporate games, and that really kind of kept her interest, which was great. So this is, uh, you know, sort of the basic review. As you can tell, you get a ton of stuff with Abeka, and I think that um, a lot of people will like the step-by-step -step teacher's guide that tells you what to do every day. So um, I hope you enjoyed this review from my kitchen table to yours. Bye.